Seen a guy around the corner? Never re-peaked you, but you still died? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, and welcome. To begin with, I do not want you to blame every death on this. That would be horse shit. Today, I want to make you aware of some people using a third-party software to gain unfair advantages within Tarkov by creating a lag or freeze. To better understand how this works, we need to discuss what those guys are doing. Once they see you around the corner or hear you because you just opened the door, they will activate the software that blocks their traffic to the Tarkov servers. During these few seconds that the traffic is blocked, they will peek you and headshot you. Then the traffic flows again and you're dead. So why does this actually work and why can't they flank around you? When your connection to the server is disrupted after a certain amount of time that is somewhat bigger than 3.5 seconds, you will get disconnected. As long as your connection freeze is below those 3.5 seconds, you could move around but foremost shoot. While Tarkov has a movement protection that rubber bands people back that would move too far during lag spikes, shooting became a priority service and enabled people to do shameless things. Let's look into why the shot is registered. While the freeze is active, almost all packages the client sends are lost. That is but for a few important data packages that your client will resend, and shooting at something is one of them. So as long as the freeze does not take too long, the information package from your client is resend. While the traffic is blocked, your PMC won't move for the attacker and although you might already have been long gone, you will die. As I said, it is because the priority package that contains the shot is still sent to the server and therefore counts as registered. As it seems, Tarkov does not have lack compensation in yet and the client seems to have gained the authority on the shot, there is a few things I would like to mention. Most of the people using this will make sure they do not have to move too far during the freeze, meaning they will try to abuse this on maps that favor quick peaks like factory or labs. If you notice a lot of dead PMCs in front of an extract, that can mean an either very efficient extract camper some weird-ass clusterfuck or someone abusing this tool, so be careful when approaching something like that. But if you die to someone during a lag, it must not mean that this person was using a software to artificially generate a lag, but can also mean that the server itself had a hiccup. So again, not every time you die, it is because of this, and sometimes it is just your own fault. Lastly, the method we just talked about is not really new and hit the PlayStation Network a few years back. Sony holds a patent to detect these so-called lag switches and since this is not hardware based, BSG or BatLie should have little to no difficulties to detect them as the way these are implemented are through the Windows firewall rules. Let me know what you're thinking guys, I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments and uh, again, don't blame everything on that. Have a good one. Uh, much loot, and I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.